everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, right, it has been a little bit of a weird one. It's now very much the afternoon and I, and I was supposed to film this eve this evening. <laughs> I can't even speak. I was supposed to film this morning as well because I basically I was just going to do like a day vlog. But this morning was extremely slow, extremely low <laughs> and just not a fun one really. I wasn't really in the frame of mind to start my vlog. I just wasn't feeling it. So I decided that I would wait until I felt a little bit more me and start then and kind of explain why and what happened. <laughs> so basically right, I had the best evening last night. I went to a premiere for the Red Sparrow film. I had a picture with Jennifer Lawrence because she was the star of the film. And um, yeah, it was just really fun. I walked down the red carpet, felt very <laughs> strange but it was quite funny because people were like, who are they? And we were like, no one, <laughs> just let us pass. But it was very fun and I felt very special to be there and lucky as well. It was such an interesting film as well, so I just, it made me really appreciate and think how lucky I am to be doing my job. Like when I was younger, I would not have thought I'd be able to ever do that. Like walk down the red carpet and watch premiere and you know, be treated like royalty basically. So it was really nice and then um, I went with um, my friend Jasmine and someone from my management called Rachel and I also went with um, Anoni, if you know her, the tiny tank, she's a babe. So I just had a really nice time and I was with really nice people and I was like just in a really good mood and then I came home and I don't know what it was. I was just scrolling on Instagram and suddenly I just felt really low and I don't know, I don't know what it was but I just felt kind of like, I don't know, I feel quite lonely within this industry sometimes and there's a lot of people that have good friends within the industry and I have a couple but I don't have a lot and sometimes I struggle with that. A lot of it is to do with my own choice of things. Sometimes I feel lonely and I f and you know when you're on the internet and, it, and sort of sharing everything. I sometimes feel like you know what are people thinking of my content? Are they laughing at me? And I get quite paranoid and I overthink things and I just feel like am I stupid? <laughs> What am I doing and that, I don't know, I've just been feeling very anxious, I guess. It's just, <laughs> why are you staring at me? She's like, mum, get a grip. <laughs> I just feel a bit like an awkward little bean within the industry sometimes and I just felt very strange and then I woke up with the same feeling, like, I went to bed feeling a bit rubbish and then I woke up and I always think it's very bad to do that. It's like when you go to bed on an argument, not a good thing because then you wake up and things are not good and you sleeping on stuff like that isn't a good thing I don't think and that's something that me and Niall within our relationship for instance have never like gone to sleep on an argument and I think that is why we get on so well maybe one of the reasons I don't know but I do think that going to bed feeling rubbish can often it can mean you wake up and it's a new day but I woke up still in that like kind of negative mindset. I feel like when you wake up in that negative mindset as well things just go wrong. It's like the law of attraction. You're giving off bad vibes so bad vibes come back to you and I just had a bad vibe morning. Just a weird one and I just had a little bit of a meltdown this morning. Had a little bit of a cry but that's okay and then picked myself up. <laughs> Got my nails done. So they're now a peachy peachy pink ready for the peach plan meetup on the weekend so I was glad about that treat yourself that'll make you feel better <laughs> and then I went to the gym I did fill my workout although I did forget my memory card so Niall had to go back he was at the gym with me and he had to go back home to pick it up he was just kind enough to offer and then I finally got on with my workout and it was a good workout and I feel much better now I've done my workout and I did film it and I am going to slot it in this vlog. <laughs> Long story short, the law of attraction is real. And if you give off bad vibes, they will come back to you. So, try to pick yourself up and life will probably be, bit, be a bit better. It's also a very grey day and a lot of rain is going on outside. Let me see if I can show you. Which doesn't help life because there's no blue in the sky. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's in my brain right now. That's where it is. Yeah, anyway, that wasn't a pity party or anything. I was just wanted to kind of explain my morning and, you know, just let you know that we're all in it together. And if you're having a rubbish morning or if you've had a rubbish day, it will be fine. Probably it'll be a bit better the next day. Might still be rubbish in the morning, but do something nice for you and maybe it'll get a little bit better. And then the law of attraction will help you and you'll, 
you'll be getting a bit more of a good vibe coming towards you so you know but it's fine i just sometimes think overthink things a little bit just get a little bit anxious you know but i am going to insert the footage of my workout it was a very very good workout i decided to mix things up a little bit today and i tr i did focus quite a lot on compound movements at the beginning because i wanted to really feel strong and i feel like i felt strong and then i felt good that's where my endorphins really kick, it, kick in when i'm feeling strong and squatified and i did today so i'm going to insert the footage here and i hope you enjoy it <laughs> So yeah, that was my little workout, loved it, very much of a burner, and yeah, it was just a great one, and it really made me feel a lot better. I feel like today, I'm doing things to make me feel happy. I'm having a me day, yeah, that's what I'm doing, I'm having such a me day today. Got my nails done, went to the gym, gonna eat some food, and life will be great. I might even have a sing later, you know, because lately I have been feeling re-inspired as I spoke about in another vlog. Singing makes me feel good, so maybe I'll do a bit of that later. We'll have a see. Okay, so it's quite a bit later now, and I have actually just popped my daylight lamp on because there is definitely no daylight going on anymore today because it's quite late and I have been the worst vlogger today. <laughs> but I am just gonna really quickly open up my deliveries with you because they've been sat on my floor and I really wanna open them, but I wanted to kind of do it with you so that we could share thoughts and you guys can kind of help me pick my birthday outfit because I need some help. So I have a couple of things from Misguided and I have a couple of things from ASOS. It's not all for my birthday outfit because I get distracted when I'm looking for things. We'll have a look. We'll just, we'll, we'll open them up and see what they're like. Oh, and also I did buy a top for my Peach Plan meetup this weekend that I just thought was nice, but we'll see if it's nice on. And it actually, <laughs> not gonna lie, it wasn't even a top, it was a swimsuit, so, you know. Anyway, let's start. So, I don't think I'll try everything on because I feel like it'll take a very long time and it'll just make a haul video when this is not a haul video, so. This is actually the top I was just talking about that is actually not a top. It's very much a swimming costume. <laughs> um, so, this is from ASOS. And I am get, I'm very into my patterns at the moment, if you know me. Love a rainbow, love a polka dot, even though I haven't found something I like yet. And a leopard print, if you get the right leopard print, otherwise it could look tacky. But if you get the right thing, I feel like it can look quite cute. This little swimsuit <laughs> is the first thing. I was thinking I might wear it with some jeans and maybe some boots. I really wanted to find some peach boots, but I haven't found any. As in peach colour, not boots covered in peaches, that would be a little bit, little bit extra. <laughs> also, I did pick up some activewear. This colour is everything, I'm praying that this fits me. So it's yellow, it's got a little bit of leopard print panelling on it, and I love it, they look rather short. Are they crops? I hope they're not crops, that would be very upsetting. I don't think so. Maybe they're just, ooh, they feel stretchy. 
Hmm, this could be a good one. And it comes with a matching sports bra. And I just thought the colouring was so lovely. So I'm definitely going to try this one on with you because I feel like that is quite a exciting one. So I got this little swimsuit because me and Niall are going to Bali in two months and I thought it was very cute. I love how like bright it is. You can't really tell right now because my daylight lamp is taking over. What are you doing daylight lamp? Let me show you up close. Okay you still can't get the full effect. It's like a neon pink but not neon pink because neon pink sounds like you go into a rave when you're 12. It's a bright pink but a nice one. And I think with a tan it would look lovely. And then on the side it's tied up with hearts, which I think is so cool. Love it. So I think that one might be a winner. And then from Misguided is actually my birthday outfit. <laughs> ASOS was just a little shop, basically. I think there was three dresses that I found. Maybe. I think I think three. So the first one is red, and I think I actually got the same one in mustard as well. <laughs> So they're both the same, but different colours, these ones. So we have this. Oh, it's a bit see-through though. Definitely can see you. My daylight lamp is highlighting the see-throughness. <laughs> Viva, can you not fight in the background? I feel like it'll be quite figure-hugging. These dresses aren't very expensive, so, um, you know, you can get away with a tiny bit of see-through. Hopefully no one will shine a daylight lamp through your legs. But I don't think that's very common, so we should be okay. And I did get the same one in a mustard. Do you know what? I might pop up the picture of the model wearing it on the side so you can actually see what the item looks like properly because I can't really show you the full length. Oh, I don't know about this mustard colour though. But yeah, this is exactly the same, but mustard. But I am not too sure about that colour. Looks a bit like sick. Maybe not. And the last one is still a midi dress, but it's a slightly different material and cut. So this is a ribbed one. It's navy. Ooh, this one looks rather pretty because it also has a very open back. I'll try the dresses on and the yellow set. That's all I'm going to try on, I think, because the other things not too important. At first glance, you probably think it fits. I really wish I could say it does, but I actually think I need to go down in a size in the leggings because this bit is very large, like, if you just left it there it would be fine, but then I feel like if I move, there's just too much waistband going on, so I do think I might need an extra small in the bottoms, because I have a small in both, but other than that, it is lovely, so I do think I am going to get the size down, because I do want them. Dress number one, I am rather loving actually. At first I was kind of like, no, but then it's very like, hugging to the figure in a nice way. Like, I was a bit worried because it's a little bit longer than I had expected, but I do quite like it. I kind of wish this bit wasn't like this, just because I feel like that kind of looks a little bit odd because it's quite casual of a neckline, but other than that, rather lovely. I don't think I am going to try on the mustard version of this just because I don't think it's a very nice mustard colour, to be honest. I think I might just take that one back and see what the navy one's like. What you reckon? What are you thinking? Mustard or red? Red. Do you know what? I'm actually kind of gutted because from the back, this one looks absolutely lovely. Let me show you this side, it could do it a bit easier. So if you see, it's very open back, but from the front, if I like move my arms forward, there's a little bit of a flap here. Oh, I don't know, you know. I love the open backness of it, but not the flap of it. Hmm. Not sure, you know. Not sure. It's not it's not the birthday one. I don't feel like any of these dresses are the birthday one. None of them overwhelm me, and that's the key to a birthday outfit, I think. So I think all in all, I'm not overwhelmed with any of those birthday outfits. I feel like when it's your birthday, you wanna look special. You wanna look like a little bit extra special because it's your b-day i'm not gonna lie i have been sitting here for quite a long time on my little peach pillow <laughs> today is literally just a write-off and i'm very sorry that i decided to vlog on such an off day i haven't had such an off day for a long time and i don't know why it came it just it just lingered into my life last night and carried its way through today and i know i have the power to take it back but I am not succeeding today. I am just not. 
I'm just literally the most unmotivated person today as well. And usually my motivation is so good. I don't feel quite me today. I don't know what it is, but I just feel a bit strange. I feel a little bit anxious, stressed. I don't know if you know, I kind of get this feeling where like, I feel like quite tight in my chest and quite, like I just wanna sigh quite a lot. And I've, I don't know, I've got it today. <laughs> I actually think I'm gonna have a go at a sing. <laughs> a sing, a sing song. I feel like it might, it might help my brain free itself. It might help me express myself a little bit. Don't know, sound a bit like a hippie. <laughs> I get obsessed with certain songs sometimes and at the moment I'm really into um, the Sierra and Zane song, Dusk Till Dawn. So I'm gonna have a little play around and have a little sing to you, I think. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, we'll see how the expressions begin, but... I need to go and set up my little keyboard first, because it's stored away. And then I'll, I'll have a little bit of a sing, I think. I'll have a little go. It's a bit green in here now. Before I was a Smurf, now I'm a Shrek. I'm a Fiona, that's what I am today, I'm Fiona. I'm just an ogre. I'm just an anxious ogre. That's what I am. dinner this is my clean dinner which is actually really nice even though it looks very plain it is nice so I've baked some sweet potatoes in the oven and put some herbs on them and then I've got some broccoli and then I've got some chicken with peri peri on top and with some mayonnaise and ketchup and when you mix it it makes that like prawny prawny cocktail sauce it is a lovely one I have actually bought myself a mini pack of mini eggs because I thought that was a little bit safer. But it's still a bit of a sweet treat. And I might actually have, because Niall has recently made these granola bars. Let me show you. So, they look rather lovely. I had one yesterday while I was in the cinema and I wrapped it in foil and it was a very embarrassing moment trying to unwrap it and being quiet at the same time. I don't know about you, but if you're ever in the cinema and you're trying to be quiet when you're opening some food, not a good one. But they are very nice, so I'll probably have one of them as well. The recipe for them actually is on Niall's Instagram, which I'll link below if you want to 
have a go at them because I think they're quite easy. But yes, that is that. And I have popped on Wild Child on the TV because it's on Netflix at the moment and it was one of my favourite films while I was growing up and it's just like a feel good chick flick so I thought you know what let's just let's just do that I love a bit of Emma Roberts I think I'm gonna end the vlog here I also just wanted to say I think I spent most of me singing that song with my eyes shut because I was very into it so sorry about that sorry about the emotionalness going on but you know I feel like I was releasing some feelings <laughs> that I've been feeling today. I'm starting to feel a little bit less anxious and I feel like tomorrow's gonna be a good day. I haven't got too much on the agenda tomorrow and I feel like that is making me feel calm <laughs> and yeah, I think it's gonna be all right. We're gonna be fine. I'm gonna eat this up before it goes cold because I, I hate doing this. I hate making food and then talking on my camera because by the time I finish rambling, it's gone cold. So I'm gonna say good night Thank you so much for watching if you watched this little vlog. I'm sorry that I spent a lot of it not feeling exactly me, but I suppose that's quite a real time thing because obviously I'm not, I'm not always on form every day because I'm a human. If you didn't already know, I'm a human. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I am okay. I'm just going to take it easy and everything will be fine. I've just been feeling a little bit dodged, but you know, I've got a puppy next to me. How can I complain about anything when I have this one in my life? Look at her with her mohawk. Poppy was here too, but she is exploring in the dark, which I'm not happy about because the foxes might get her, so I'm going to have to go and get her soon. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll hopefully see you in my next video, which probably will be the peachy meetup. Some of it, anyway. And you can watch me get ready and do it. I'm going to do like a peachy look. So that'll be fun. I'm also going skiing next week actually as well. And I'm going to vlog. I think I'm going to do like one vlog. And just do bits throughout the week. Because I don't want to spend too much of my time there filming. Because I want to just be on holiday if you know what I mean. So let me know what if there's anything you'd want to see while I'm skiing. Let me know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film while I ski. Maybe if I'm on the nursery slope. I do think I'm definitely going to have to film Niall learning to ski. Because it's, he's, it's his first time. So that's going to be rather interesting. But yeah. I will see you soon. And my food's probably cold now. It's a good day. <laughs> it was a very good day today. <laughs> but it's okay. Because tomorrow's a new one.